Hello and Happy New Year, everyone. I hope everyone had a happy and safe New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Um, just want to give you a quick little update here for the new year on my hat. And um, I mentioned that one of the kits the uh, Mrs. gave me for Christmas was the uh, Ravel uh, A6M M50, and just want to show you how the model came out. And here she is. Uh, so here is the completed Ravel model. Uh, yeah, really easy kits, only 29 pieces, so it goes for together really well. Um, the part that I spent the most time was on the masking the canopy manually with Tamiya tape and a nice sharp uh, exacto knife. Uh, that was the part that took the longest point, otherwise everything else went pretty well. Um, the fit along the wing root was good. Uh, the fit here at the bottom though was not good. There was a big step down here. They needed a lot of work. Um, the decals. Uh, decals actually I was kind of concerned about the decals I didn't think they would settle down that well, but they turned out to settle down pretty well. Um, I actually used uh, Mr. Mark softener for that, for these decals, um, as well as before um, applying them to the model, I took a pin, a needle pin, and just poked little tiny holes all over these big decals so the solution can get inside and under them. And they settled down pretty well. Let me see again, close up here. You can see they conform to all those raised rivets pretty well. It's pretty well. I also realized that the decals here on the side they actually were pre uh, uh, pre weathered. On um, the little pieces you see here missing, actually that's the way they came printed. Um, and the little blue stand you see here, this actually came from an old frog kit that I'm using as a stand. I decided to do this wheels up instead of wheels down. So I didn't care how the, since there was no details here in the wheel bay and the wheel. Uh, gear itself was all landing gear itself was really poor to begin with so just did the wheels up um, the way I did this um, I cut up any tabs that was inside of here and then I put a piece of uh, blank uh, styrene underneath it and then glued this to the styrene and any little gaps just fill it in with filler there you go so it's a nice little gift nice little present from the missus and I need to attach this securely to the stand here so it doesn't fall off uh, not too crazy about this blue color, but uh, I don't know, maybe I'll paint it a different color and uh, keep it on that stand. We'll see. Anyway, so some of the bills that I have scheduled for the next few months. Uh, speaking of the missus, the other gift she gave me was this uh, Antonov uh, AN2 Colt in nice red livery. Um, so this is one that she likes. She likes the red color, so I'm going to be building this for her. Uh, another kit that I have here. Um, is the um, Airfix 172nd um, Achi uh, Deval uh, from Pearl Harbor here. I'm going to do this, probably do this for the uh, ISM uh, Group Building Race uh, Rising Sun. Just a nice simple kit, uh, older kit. I'll probably do a little diorama with it. Another ISM Group Build uh, in honor of Cohen C. Michael um, Tiger, since he's a big Tiger fan. Uh, here we have the Tiger 1. This is a Tamiya uh, Tiger 1 early production in 148 scale. And not an ISM, um, but Ross Goslin on YouTube. He's hosting him and Hammaker Barkas. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, they're hosting a Get Out of Your Comfort Zone uh, group build uh, going on through. Uh, the end of June, I believe, um, and on my comfort zone. So this is a ship, something I don't do too much about. Um, reason for doing this um, other comfort zone besides that it is a ship. Um, there is a little bit of I think rigging. Uh, there is photo etch for the railing in here, and also this doesn't come with a base, so I'm going to see if I can build a water base. So something new, something different, and something out of my comfort zone. And lastly, second. Um, there is also or will be uh, a group build uh, from the Mad Model, uh, the Mad, the Mad Modeler, uh, Clint, on uh, YouTube. Uh, go big or go home. Uh, he wants to host a one thirty second scale um, airline airplane kit group build. Um, and Clint, if you're listening to this and you're going to go pursue the uh, group build, this is the kit I'm going to build. Um, if for some reason you do not do it, I'll probably still build this kit. Maybe we'll do it as part of the ISM. Um, there's another group build for 132nd skull kits on ISM as well. Alright, so that's what I have on my plate for the next few months. And 
I uh, look forward to seeing everyone else's builds this year. All right, have a good one. Thank you.